Hi there, it's Natasha and thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are going to be creating two baby cards. Um, kind of technically one for a boy and one for a girl I guess. So first up we're going to um, create the background and to do that I'm going to use my Distress Oxides and I'm going to start on the pink one and for the two colours that I'm going to use I'm going to use um, Picked Raspberry and I think the other one is Worn Lipstick. Um, so I've just got a um, mini ink blending tool for each one and we're going to put the colour on really thick so as thick as I can kind of basically and I'm just getting a little scrap piece of paper because these are sort of pigment they have pigment in them and so I don't want to put my fingers in it otherwise it will leave big fingerprints so I'm trying to meet roughly halfway in the middle and I want them to have a nice seamless blend where they meet so just going back and forward with um, either color to make sure that there is a seamless blend I'm doing this on Tim Holtz watercolor paper today um, either that or the Bristol Smooth um, paper works really well for blending Distress Oxide inks. So for the boy colours I am using Cracked Pistachio and Salty Ocean and I'm just going to do exactly the same thing. Use a little scrap of paper so as not to put my fingers in it and then add plenty of colour on nice and thick and meet halfway in the middle. I will say that I do really like my Distress Oxide inks. I was really determined in the beginning not to buy more inks, but I must say um, I do really like these and I do reach for them often uh, in my card making. So I've got a really nice blend between the two colours there again. And as I said earlier, because these are pigment inks and they stay wet a little longer um, than dye inks would, I'm going to just quickly run over them with my heat gun to make sure that they're nice and dry just for a little bit and then I am going to use um, some stencils to um, add some glitter paste to the background. So these stencils are also from AliExpress and this actually this blue piece is um, that had a little blob down the bottom that you can see there. So um, this is really just to show you guys. So I'm adding the stencil and a little bit of tape down the bottom to hold it in place. The only thing with these stencils is that they measure 5 by 5 inches, so they are a little bit short for a card front. Um, but that's okay, you can usually make it work or you can just shift the stencil down and repeat the pattern. That wouldn't be hard either. So here, I'm, so the glitter paste is from Nuvo and I really like this one in particular because it picks up whatever colour is um, behind the paste. So that makes it a really versatile product and that I can use it on not just one colour or behind one colour. Um, so I've just added it through the stencil with a palette knife and you can see here obviously it's still wet but that it picks up sort of nice greens and golds and blues from the um, colours behind it. So for the um, actual ones that I'm going to do, this I use the wavy stencil for the boys card so that's this one here. And then on the girls card I use these stars and you can see it's kind of like gold and um, oranges and pinks. It's really lovely. So I've got my um, two card panels ready to go. I am going to cut these out using a um, stitched rectangle die. This one is from AliExpress and it is the largest one in the set. I do wish that it was a little bit larger but in this case I wanted to get the pattern um, to cover the whole of the card front so I ended up um, using this die. I'm going to run them both through and then I have a little stitch circle. You could use any circle because you don't use, you don't end up seeing the stitched effect very well here so anyone would work and I'm going to cut it out four times on each card front. So I'm just going to run these through. I didn't put them in any particular place. I didn't want them to be evenly spaced or anything. I've just put them randomly on the card front and cut it out four times. So from here you're not allowed to laugh because these are what were on my desk. I am using foam squares to cover the entire back and I use a million of them. These foam squares are from AliExpress also and I cover each of the um, card fronts completely with them as you can see. 
if I were using foam tape, I would have had to um, rip and cut the foam tape anyway, so it wasn't that bad. I put plenty to give it lots of support on the back of each card front and stick it down to a four and a quarter by five and a half card front. Then I'm just going to replace the little circles back in flat, so I'm just using some liquid glue for that. And with the waves, I did try and line up um, sort of the correct way that they should have gone in so that the pattern lines up uh, nicely. But with the stars, I didn't really have to do that. I think there's one star at the top that I needed to line up because I'd cut in the middle of one of the larger stars. But aside from that, um, I was able to pop these ones in much easier. So these cards came together quite quick um, in the end, and they kind of end up being really cute, simple, easy baby cards. And you could definitely do one in yellows or greys even, and it could be a more gender neutral um, baby card. So from here I'm going to pop some um, letters in, and obviously I'm going to spell out the word baby. And these uh, wooden letters are from AliExpress, and I think they're about two centimetres um, tall. And in one set, I actually ordered three packages of them, but in one package I got all of these letters out of them, out of one parcel. So there must be at least four alphabets in each package, because obviously there was four Bs um, that all came from the same set. So I'm just using some... Um, multi-medium and it's in the matte finish which is really good because I am squirting lots of glue on it because these are big wooden heavy-ish letters um, for a card front and so I want them to stay down really well I don't ever want them to come off so I'm adding plenty of glue in and if a little bit squirts out the side I know that it's not going to show because it is in the um, matte finish so I'm just going to do the same with the two baby cards and that is them finished I really like the simplicity of these cards and they were fun to make. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed watching them too and give it a go yourself. I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.